Joyce and Steve, just in the last 20 minutes, we confirmed that this is indeed deadly, a sad deal. They performed CPR on scene. They rushed him to Harborview where he was pronounced dead. I want to give you a look at how this happened exactly. I just got off the phone with Sound Transit. This all is at 148th and five, straight, State Route 520 in Bellevue, and that ledge that he is pushing into our photojournalist Tom Hickey is pushing into this ledge right here. This is the column that that worker fell off of. Sound Transit tells me that he took about a 40 foot fall. They were over working overnight doing some night work here the past few days. Uh, they were setting girders when one worker fell off that column that you're looking at right now onto the ground below. I want to take you to some video from earlier. All of this took place about 2.30 this morning and since then that is uh, when emergency responders came out. I think you're looking now at Sky King uh, video overlooking this scene. And I want to take you, though, to that, that emergency video that we shot uh, at 2.30 this morning. Uh, these workers have been working on this East Link extension. It's a 10-stop, 14-mile planned rail line that's going to be opening in 2023. It's running from the Seattle International District all the way across I-90 to Mercer Island through the downtown Bellevue area and eventually ending up in Redmond. This is just one place along that route where they were doing work and that work continued up until just a few hours ago. As you look live again here at the column where that worker fell from this morning. And if we pull out, you can see that work has stopped here. There's just a few people that stand next to that truck this morning, but other than that, uh, there isn't much happening right now as this has just become a, a really a sad day for all these workers and, and um, for every, all of us, really. Uh, this, this worker pronounced dead uh, just a few minutes ago. Stephen Joyce.